This is the fourth video on German expansion 1938 to 1940, and this video concerns the changing international alignments that occurred between 38 to 39 that paved the way to the war as we know it. International tensions continued to rise with Mussolini's invasion of Albania. Although this action was caused by Mussolini's attempt to show his independence of Hitler and to create his own international importance, to Britain and France it looked like coordinated action by the two dictatorships. Britain and France responded by guaranteeing that they would support Greece or Romania if a war broke out. This threatened Mussolini, who looked towards Germany as his ally against Britain and France. Hitler and Mussolini then re-upped the Rome-Berlin axis by creating the more formal Pact of Steel, which meant both states were now agreeing to formally follow the same foreign policies, support one another in a war, make war plans together, etc. Most historians agree that this was meaningless in reality, as little coordination between Hitler and Mussolini ever occurred, but the two countries' fates were now intertwined. Some believe Hitler only agreed to this pact because it meant France would now be distracted by pressure on its southern border with Italy, and it might force Britain and France to concede Polish territory to avoid a larger war. That would now include Italy as well. In the summer of 1939, both the Western democracies and Hitler approached the Soviet Union for an alliance. Despite Hitler's loathing of communist Russia and his plans for Liebensraum in the East, an alliance with the Soviets was desirable. It would prevent them from joining an alliance with Britain and France and secure their neutrality in regards to Poland, thus preventing Germany's involvement in another two-front war, which had went disastrously for them in the First World War. Stalin also felt the West was too weak towards Hitler and that they were not doing enough to stop his aggression. However, he was not prepared to go to war yet. Japan posed a threat in the West to the Soviet Union, which Stalin was concerned with. And further, Stalin was upset with the West for leaving them out of discussions regarding Czechoslovakia. Lastly, Stalin had his own ambitions in Eastern Europe and wanted to pursue them without a threat of war with Germany. Thus, the two ideological enemies met to discuss a possible deal. Germany began secret discussions with the Soviet Union in August, looking at a non-aggression pact that would benefit both countries' ambitions. In these meetings, they agreed to secretly divide Poland, as well as allowing the Soviet Union to claim Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. Both sides came out of the agreement, knowing that they didn't have to worry about one another when it came to making aggressive moves in Eastern Europe. Under the Nazi-Soviet Non-Aggression Pact, or the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact as it's officially known, each side pledged neutrality and divided Northern and Eastern Europe into their spheres of influence. The Nazis now had a free hand in Poland without fear of Russian interference. Mm -hmm. 